Hello truck camping friends, Charlie Cushane here in my garage to do another truck camping mod. And as you probably all well know, I have a chalet double slide truck camper that is a 2012, so it's eight years old, and I've had it on my 2001 Ford F350 dually uh, for eight years solid, and we've gone all over the country about 120,000 miles. So we've traveled a lot and we've seen a lot. However, I accidentally came upon a problem that has happened over a long time and I didn't even know it. And it's something we should take a look at today. And I don't know if it's unique to me or it's just, I've had it for so long, this truck camper combination, is something I need to look out for and fix. So let's take a look. So let me tell you a little story about our trip down from New England down to Florida this year. We decided to go through a scenic route through the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. And if you've ever been there, there's a bunch of hills and backwoods camping you can do and we love it. However, we went on to this one camping spot where it was like a switch, the road was a switchback and very steep. And I took the turn and both my wife and I were a little nervous about how steep in the turn um, to the point when we got through that and we got to a flat area, I noticed the camper felt very loose and didn't, it seemed to be moving more, porpoising more. So I quickly pulled over and checked all the torque lift fast guns and noticed that they were all loose. So I quickly adjusted them all, tightened them all down, and we basically made our way home okay. But that always made me worried is why it loosened up like that. And I noticed something in the bed of my truck. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, I'm standing in the bed of the truck and at the end of every season, I wax the entire camper. And then when I'm done with that, I wax the entire truck. And I was standing here waxing the roof of the truck and stepped over here and I noticed my floor of my truck, the bed of the truck felt a little soft. Not so bad in the middle here, over here as well. So I started thinking, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe we should take a look at that. So let me show you what I found. Well, you may recall from previous videos, um, I've made this roller centering device, which works good and keeps the camper centered where it belongs while I'm traveling. And I made this bump stop where the camper comes in, hits this, and then it keeps from pushing on this and it was starting to dent it. So I did fix that a year or so ago. But now I pull this up this rubber mat, and this is like a half inch thick rubber mat. I noticed something right here where the bolts are. There's a, there's a, a rail underneath of the bed that runs the full width. And these, this is where the bed bolts down to that rail. But let me give you a close up look at what I found right here. Okay, as we zoom in on this area here, and go to the very bottom of the bed where that bolt is. Ah, I think you're starting to see it now. That is a problem. You can see the bed is actually broken. And as I was standing here, I don't know if you can tell, that's starting to 
break right there from the weight of the camper. And let me just draw some lines on the bed as to where the camper is sitting so you get a better feel. Well, as you can see, I have my camper on my temporary supports for the winter. But what I wanted to show you is these rubber stops that hit my bump stops. They stick out three and a quarter inches. So let's go lay that out on the truck and it'll show you where this corner and this edge end up on the truck and how I think it's starting to cause me an issue. Okay, as I showed you, it's three and a quarter inches to the bump stop. So that means the truck camper sits just like this. And comes down here. So I'm drawing a line with my Sharpie. So there you have it. The truck camper sit, the edge of the truck camper sits right here. And that's why this is starting its, when it porpoises, it's causing the issue over time. I think that slowly caused the issue. Well, just so we're clear, even though I showed you on the right hand side, I have this issue on the left hand side we have the exact same issue so it's something that's happening all the way across my bed and of course the first thing you might think is is it rusted under his bed are the rails rusty from being 20 years old so let's go take a look at those and i'll show you that it's beautiful okay let's roll under here and take a look at the bed Okay, okay, here we're looking at the one bed rail at the very front of my truck. As you can see, I've oil undercoated this truck every year. This is like pristine. No rust, nothing. This is one side, let's go look at the other side. So here's the other bed rail. You can see it's perfect. No rust or anything at all. So the fact that it's deforming is a little concerning to me. So I do have a plan to fix it. Okay, my plan to fix this problem is to get a thin piece of steel, a high yield stank steel so it won't flex, uh, it won't deform as easy. Because I don't want to get a thick piece of steel because it'd be too heavy. So I want as thin as possible. And I'm gonna stick it under here, all the way up to the front of the bed, come across. Then when the camper is on here and porpoising, the weight will be spread over a bigger area and it'll go right over top of this bolt. So that's my plan to make this much stronger and more robust. So let's go get some steel and get it ready to install. Okay, so I'm coating these with this Flex Seal. It's uh, liquid rubber. I figure that out, I keep it from rusting. That's the first of two coats. Okay, my plan is to take this piece of steel. It's 93 thousandths, 0.093 thousandths, 330 seconds. It's a very high yield strength piece of steel. It's thin, it only weighs about five pounds, so it's not very heavy. And my plan is to unbolt this bump stop 
and put this in and put this back on. So now, let's put this as far over as we can. Push it all the way forward. That's one of them. Is the other plate. I'll do the same thing over here. Lift it up. Put it all as over as far as we can. I want to make sure I'm on a rib here. I'm on the center of a rib there. And the center of a rib here. All right, now that we got the plates where I want them, now we can put this back in. There we go. That pushes down on this plate, these two plates, and should make it really strong. So, I think that's going to solve my problem of the camper deforming this metal, because this is definitely thicker than the existing sheet metal and stronger. So hopefully that'll do the trick. Okay, the last thing to do is put this back. There, perfect. Okay, I'm standing over here. I do not feel any softness like I did before. So I think that's going to solve my problem. Success.